Welcome to our Tech Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from a developer working with Elixir and Phoenix. They want to know how to manage internationalization in their app by translating URIs based on the current locale. Let's break it down. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. In this video, we'll explore how to implement internationalization in a Phoenix application by translating URIs based on the current locale. First, let's look at the challenge. We want our routes to change depending on the tenant's locale. For example, in English, the route might be slash classifieds new, while in French, it would be slash annon slash ajout. Initially, you might think of using conditional statements in the router to handle different locales. However, this won't work because the router is compiled at server boot time without access to the current connection context. A working solution involves creating separate scopes for each locale. This allows you to define routes specifically for each language, ensuring that only the relevant routes are available for each tenant. Finally, to manage the paths dynamically, we can create a helper function called localized path. This function will check the current locale and return the appropriate path, defaulting to English if the localized path doesn't exist. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To implement internationalization in Phoenix, check out the article Practical I18N with Phoenix and Elixir for detailed guidance. You can also experiment with macros to create translated routes. Here's a sample code snippet that demonstrates how to set up localized routes using macros. It defines a router with multiple locales and includes pipelines for handling browser and API requests. The code includes a macro for translating route strings, allowing you to manage different languages effectively. This setup helps in creating a more user-friendly experience for international users. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.